Now before we start this question what we need to do is to sketch a diagram and I've already started sketching the two particles A and B of masses 2m and m and we're told that A and B are moving towards one another before they collide A is moving with a speed of 2u and B is moving with a speed of 3u. Now when they hit one another they hit one another with an impulse we're told of 7mu over 2 so A is going to get a bang if you like in this direction that impulse is going to have a magnitude of 7mu over 2 and there'll be an equal and opposite bang if you like an impulse on B so we'll put that in here that is going to be the impulse on B, 7mu over 2. Now we've got to find the speed of A immediately after the collision so I need to mark on some velocities. So I'm going to assume that A is going to carry on moving to the right after the collision and the same with B. So I'm going to put a velocity arrow in that direction it's a final velocity for A so I'm going to use VA and for the particle B I'm going to use VB. Now don't worry too much if you haven't got these arrows in the right direction providing that you stick to the sign conventions if you've got it in the wrong direction they'll only come out as negative which means it's going in the other direction. Anyway so let's just take that direction as positive. Now if we're to find the speed of A immediately after the impulse VA what we need to do is to consider A. So we'll just put here consider A and you should know that impulse is equal to change in momentum. I'll just write that over here that impulse let's say I is equal to change in momentum. That's the final momentum mv minus mu. This is a standard formula that you should know. Now we're dealing with vector quantities here. Direction matters so you need to set up a positive direction. And What I'm going to do is set up the positive direction in the direction of the impulse for A which is to the left. So we'll set that up as by putting a little plus sign here. So what is the impulse in that direction? Well it's 7mu over 2 so we've got 7mu over 2 is equal to mass times the final velocity well the mass is 2m so we've got 2m times the final velocity. Now we've got VA here but it's going to the right it's in the negative sense of this arrow so we must write minus VA so that's a place where it's quite easy to trip up then we've got minus here the initial momentum so the initial mass which was 2m times the initial velocity now again it's 2u but it's in the negative sense to the arrow here so it's got to be minus 2u so again be careful there. So all we need to do is tidy this up let's just put 7mu over 2 again and what we've got here is minus 2mva and here plus 4mu. Now the m's are in each term so you could actually divide through by m on each term so they cancel out and what we could do now is times through by 2 and we get 7u equals minus 4va plus 8u and then if we take say 7u from both sides and add 4VA to both sides we end up with 4VA equals 8U minus 7U which is U and dividing both sides by 4 we get that the final velocity of A is going to be a quarter U or U over 4. 
So we can see that this has come out as positive, so we know that it is moving to the right. If you had done the problem with VA going to the left, you would have ended up with a negative here, okay? And so you'd have known that the direction had been reversed. So they did ask for the speed of A, so let's just answer by saying that therefore the speed of A ends up being u over 4. Alright, well that brings us now to the end of the first part of this question.